Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back, Kellen here with Droid Life. So talking through a feature today that's that was included in the Android 5.1 update for Android Wear. Uh, that feature is always on apps or always on applications. Uh, and essentially what always on apps are, are similar to an always on clock, which you guys have had on your watch since day one. So, so basically it allows you to run an app on your screen in sort of the black and white power saving mode. So you can still keep information up on your screen that you may need right now uh, without killing battery and with also out having to go back in your watch and flip around and find it. You can sort of keep it on screen at all times, uh, but still conserve power. So it's very cool. And we, we talked about our Android 5.1 overview, but Google's sort of talking about it again more today because new apps have added the functionality. So we just wanna show you some of those. And again, make sure everyone just knows how this works. So uh, first thing you're gonna wanna do though is turn on ambient mode or always on mode, whatever it's called on your particular watch, it seems to change often. Uh, so you wanna have that on. From there, you can just swipe over and get into your applications. And of course you need to have an app uh, that works with this feature. And so we're gonna show you a couple of those. Uh, don't worry, more and more apps are gonna continue to build this in. So it's gonna be it's gonna be fun um, pretty soon when you can really start taking advantage of this. But one of the new ones is Google Maps. So if we pull up Google Maps, you can see a, I've got a map up here. And in order to enable the always on app mode, all you do is take your palm and just cover it up and it goes black and white. And so this is gonna be hard um, to capture on screen just because it does go black. Um, but you can kind of see there, there's a map in the background there. So it's an always on mode. I've still got my time up there, but it's still showing me the map of, uh, of the location. And then to jump back into it, you can just sort of tap on the screen again and it will take you back in. So if I do it again, there you go. You can kind of see it background there. So I can still have a map up on my screen, even though it's not killing battery. So uh, that's just one of the examples. Now, one of the, the examples I showed you during our overview was Google Keep. So Google Keep was one of the first. Uh, and basically, if you have a list up and say you're at the grocery store and you don't want to lose that list all of the time and you want to keep it handy, you can do the same thing, just sort of cover it up. And then that goes into ambient mode. And again, it's kind of hard to see because it goes so black. You can see there's some white text and you can see your list and then you can just tap on it and start checking things off or interacting with it, that sort of thing. Uh, what I'm looking forward to is apps like the recently updated Runtastic. So Runtastic was updated to include this. So if I'm out for a run, um, I can pull up Runtastic on my watch and say start and I can kick off a run. And so this will, oh, there it started over there on the uh, phone. So it's starting, um, but I can go into an ambient mode and uh, you can see it still it goes black and white, but it shows me sort of that the watch is running in the background and it's only updating every five seconds, if you can see that. So it's at 10, it should go to 15, I believe. Oh, there we go, to 20. So it, it doesn't update constantly because uh, it is trying to conserve battery, but you can see there is intervals there. Uh, it went from five to 10 to 20, and maybe it's 10 seconds, so 30. Yeah, there we go. So it is doing that, and you'll also see uh, distance down here and calories burned and all that stuff. So you can take a quick glance at your wrist to get to that ambient mode um, or tap on it to get it to refresh and get back to uh, doing it uh, full speed there. So these are, the, these are the use cases I think that are gonna be really powerful are apps like this that you wanna have on your screen at all times, uh, but don't necessarily want draining battery. So we'll go ahead and pause that. So those are just a couple of the examples. Now there's other apps too, like a lot of the flight apps are getting updated. So you can pull up your boarding pass on your watch and rather than have it sit on your watch all the time with white backgrounds blowing out battery, you can sort of switch it to a black and white mode, keep it handy and then tap on it when you're ready to uh, scan it at a terminal. So uh, that's just a quick look at always on apps for Android 5.1. Uh, on Android Wear. Again, more apps are just gonna have to add this functionality in, but so far we're getting a nice little list, including uh, the update from Runtastic. So uh, comments, questions, or need us to show you anything else in Android Wear, we can certainly do that. Otherwise, we're Droid Life. Peace.